Tonight, the medical community wants minorities to know the vaccine is safe and when it is available, they should roll up their sleeve and get it. But many are afraid to do that. New at 11, CBS 17's Amani Payne is live tonight getting answers about why. Amani. Healthcare workers tell me it boils down to a lack of trust between minorities and the medical community. It's something that they hope will change and fast. 24,000 healthcare workers vaccinated so far in North Carolina. Of them, only 8% are black or African American. Dr. Julius Wilder of Duke Health is part of that 8%, but he acknowledges that many in communities of color are still skeptical. This is a little alarming, particularly in this case, though, because of the disproportionate burden of COVID-19 on communities of color. In recent years, North Carolina agreeing to compensate people, mostly black, who were forced to be sterilized as part of a state eugenics program that ended in the 70s. Wilder says incidents like that and the Tuskegee experiment don't help ease concerns. But I think it's going to be a matter of having an open conversation, acknowledging what's happened in the past, making sure people understand the good science we have behind the current vaccines. And then in that conversation, building that trust to help them move forward towards vaccination. But with black people being nearly three times more likely to die of COVID-19 as compared to whites, black health care workers say doing their part to share information and calm fears in the community is truly a matter of life or death. Because it's just not one of those things that um, is readily acceptable right now in my community, in the African-American community. So if I can get it first and, you know, just document my progress and kind of convince other people, then that's the most and health leaders are optimistic that some of those concerns will fade as more people get the vaccine. For now, we're live in Raleigh, Imani Payne, CBS 17 News.